Hi everyone, Tege here. In this video, we're gonna learn to say 20 expressions and phrases that you had already known how to say in Korean, even before you started studying Korean. I'm gonna start by explaining a couple of expressions that require a little bit of explanation. So stick with me for a few minutes, and after that, you're ready to rock. You'll be able to memorize the rest in just a matter of a couple of minutes. By any chance, if you want to jump to any specific expression, you can do that at any moment by clicking on the timestamps that I enabled below. Alright, so let's get it started. The first expression is notebook 재부팅 해요. Here, notebook doesn't mean the same notebook that you may be thinking of. In Korea, the word Notebook is usually just for laptop computers. It doesn't mean the paper notebook. If you want to say the paper one, you can say not as in note. Not. Okay, hey you already know what it means by now. We've repeated it so many times so far. <laughs> it's the present tense conjugative form of a verb hada, which means to do in general, but in this case it's rather used as a suffix to enable the noun tebuting to be used as a verb. Booting means the same thing as in English, booting, which means to start a computer so it's ready to operate. And the first part, 제, is a prefix, which means twice or again, uh, just like the prefix re in English. So uh, this means to reboot, to shut down and restart a computer or a program, a typical example of an English word used in Korean where we keep the ing. And of course, if you don't use a laptop computer, you can change it to computer as well. Computer 재부팅 해요. The next expression is 이메일 체크 해요. This is quite straightforward, right? Email is obviously email and 체크 해요 means to check. Now, you may also only hear the word mail without e as in mail 체크 해요. Nonetheless, don't think of the physical mail though. Here, it's only used as a shorter way of saying email. Curiously, there is a Korean homophone, meaning a word with the same sound but of a different meaning, and that is mail. Mail means every day. Notice that the writing is slightly different as it uses a different vowel. This is how we can differentiate between email and every day. So if you want to say, someone checks email every day, 매일 이메일 체크해요. The placing of adverbs can be a little more flexible than other categories of words. So in this case, you can also place it after the object, which then will give more emphasis on the word every day than the email itself. So if you say 이메일 매일 체크해요, then it's a bit like saying Every day I check email. Do you see the difference though? As opposed to I check email every day. You're really emphasizing that everyday part. Now you can emphasize it even further like saying every single day by repeating the word twice. Mail, mail. When it's applied to this sentence, it would be email, mail, mail, tequeo. Email, mail, mail. And you can potentially also say, remember I told you that you can also get rid of the E from email as a shorter way of saying it. So you can say, 매일, 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 체크해요. Although I kind of doubt that anyone would want to shorten it uh, in this case, since it can sound a little bit confusing, right? So uh, if I were you, I would just stick with email. Finally, let's just say for practice, I check email every single day in Korean. Put the subject at the beginning. 저 이메일 매일 매일 체크 해요. 저 이메일 매일 매일 체크 해요. Now you tell me if you can ever forget how to say every day in Korean. From here, I think the following expressions are pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. So I'm gonna just read them out twice for each. Give it a try. See if you can understand them. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Okay, if you're ready, let's start. 데이터 백업해요. Please pay attention to the difference in pronunciation with this one. 데이터 백업해요. 블로그 포스팅해요. 블로그 포스팅해요. 게임 다운로드해요. 게임 다운로드해요. 이메일 로그인해요. 
이메일 로그인해요. 캘린더 체크해요. 캘린더 체크해요. 스케줄 체크해요. 스케줄 체크해요. 스크린 캡처해요. 스크린 캡처해요. And now here come some of the expressions where the F sound is changed to P sound. Pumware update ayo. Pumware update ayo. Font setting ayo. Font setting ayo. File upload ayo. File upload ayo. Now we're going to see some examples of compound nouns. So two nouns back to back, they may be attached together or sometimes separated, normally as according to how they are arranged in English, but of course the rules aren't always observed. So I hope you don't mind and um, just ignore the spacing if it's wrong. <laughs> so here we go. Mobile app download here. Mobile app download here. 안티바이러스 소프트웨어 인스톨해요. 안티바이러스 소프트웨어 인스톨해요. 컴퓨터 하드웨어 업그레이드해요. 컴퓨터 하드웨어 업그레이드해요. 인터넷 아이콘 클릭해요. 인터넷 아이콘 클릭해요. 유튜브 링크 클릭해요. 유튜브 링크 클릭해요. And finally, once again, the ones that contain words where the F sound is changed to P. Folder icon, double click here. Folder icon, double click here. PDF file, print here. PDF file, print here. Hard drive, format here. Hard drive, format here. All right, that's it for this lesson. In the next video, we're going to learn to express obligations as in I have to do the shopping or I have to be on diet. Sounds complicated? I'm going to make it surprisingly easy for you guys. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.